Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and of course we're doing the Band of Bastards DLC. So just sit back and enjoy and let's go through it. Alright, so here for episode 5, we, uh, we've gotten back to the camp and uh, we seem to be the first ones here. So I guess we're going to have to wait some time. So yeah, let's just do that. Alright, so everyone's back. I'm going to quick check for the rock. I'm hoping he didn't die because... Uh, that would suck. Hey, there he is. Look at that. Ooh, Jan Behrman. He's in the mood to talk. Can you tell me something about yourself, Jan? Why not? That's a good view. I haven't view. been to confession for a while. <laughs> How did you end up in Kuno's band? Ah, it's nothing new for me and my brother. We've been fighting for coins since we were old enough to carry swords. Last time we rode with one Lombardian by the name of Collini. All over Bavaria, Austria, and that. What happened? Did you fall out? Nah, we just wanted to come back to Bohemia. You know how it is. When no one understands a word you say, it ain't worth a damn. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Nah, to tell the truth, I'd never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> And the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. We might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby. And better hardly walking. Playing in the dirt together we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took us away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. That's the way it's been ever since, over and over. So you two never had, well, um, a normal life. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has been. What do you think about this business with Hagen Zul? That's a very tricky matter, I can tell you. Them Zools are well known among us mercenaries. Hagen and his two brothers fought in the Margraviate Wars. That's God, quite a feather to have in your cap. But on the other hand, they've got their weaknesses. Like what? They still like to think of themselves as high and mighty lords. Kuno got over that, thank Christ. And he treats us all like equals. You think Hagen's men have no great love for him? Well... I'd say they're running before his whip more than following his flag, if you understand me. Aye. I see what you're getting at. Well, that was an annoying view to have. <laughs> um, not that, not what he was saying, but like, the physical view that I had in the game. That's one of the more annoying things that can happen in this game. When you try to talk to someone and then it just kind of sits there and shows you the back of their head or, or nothing at all. Okay, so I didn't talk to him already. I kind of want to see if anyone else is interested in finding that ring. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you want to know? Why do they call you Dangler? Because Kuno found me dangling on the end of a rope. Ah. I see. So, um... He saved you from execution? I wouldn't call it an execution, exactly. At the time, I was squire to the Lord of Buzitz. There was a proper night for you, full of ideals and honor. I looked up to him as a hero. Then in one skirmish he was killed, and the foe took me captive. They stood me on a shaky wooden cross with my hands tied behind my back and a noose around my neck, for amusement. Then they rode off laughing. But how long were you stuck there? I couldn't tell you. Hours, maybe days. In the end, everything started going black. I could feel the devil pulling me down by the legs. Jesus! How on earth did you survive? I didn't. When Kuno found me, he says I was dead as a doornail. They cut me down and took the rope off me. Then someone gave me a kick and I coughed and came back to life. Sort of. What do you think about this business with Hagen Zul? Hagen Zul? Who's that? That robber baron who's been pillaging Sir Radzig's estates. Didn't Kuno tell you? 
No, you did. But then he says a lot of things. Zul, Radzig, Sokol, and Hinek of Kravan, Wenceslas, Sigismund. It all goes in one ear and out the other. What do I care? Ride somewhere, kill some fellas, have a drink, and go to sleep. If you're lucky, it won't rain while you're at it. That's all. That's a pragmatic view on the world. Who is the last person? Who do we got here? I already talked to him. The stone? God, these guys wander a lot. Aha! This Fletch guy. I don't think I've talked to him yet. Good day, Henry. What's it about, Stefan? Ah, Henry. The very man I wanted to see. I heard you got the ring from Dangler and gave it to the stone. Uh, maybe. Let's not beat around the bush. I could use your help too. I think the stone has had the ring long enough. If you get what I'm saying. I'll help you. I've got nothing else to do anyway. I want to steal the ring from the stone while he's asleep. But that fella sleeps with one eye open. He needs a little help with sleeping soundly. And I've got a feeling you're the kind of man who knows how to arrange that kind of thing. Supposing I steal it for you? If you think you can do it, whatever. Either steal the ring or bring me that sleeping potion and I'll do it. I don't think I'll have a problem. I'm pretty good at pickpocketing. So let's go find the stone. And we've got it. That was pretty easy. <laughs> so let's go give it back to... Uh... Oops, that was the wrong way. I gotta go this way. There he is. I pinched the ring from the stone. Here it is. Well now, Henry. I hope you'll take it as a compliment when I say you're one sneaky fucker. Here's a little something for your trouble. Stefan, can you tell me something about yourself? Uh, what is it you want to know, youngster? I'm curious how you ended up in Kuno's band. You notice I don't exactly fit in with this pack of felons and reprobates, huh? Unfortunately, you can't always choose your company, can you? <laughs> no, I suppose not. But how did you come to be with them? Oh, well, I'd love to tell you, but Kuno insisted we keep that between the two of us. And I'm not one to break a contract. Oh. But... Well, Kuno said it was you who wanted to keep it secret. Really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? You must have misunderstood him. No, I don't think so. At least... Oh, never mind. So, where did you live before? What did you do? I used to live in a town before. Back there I was doing something very different. Although... Now I think of it, maybe it wasn't that different in a way. If you know what I mean. Actually, I have the foggiest idea what you mean. You don't give anything away, do you? Me? <laughs> I'm an open book lad. Ask me anything you like, and I'll give you an honest answer. Go on! Uh, maybe another time. My head's starting to spin. As you wish. Shame, though. There's nothing I enjoy more than conversing. What do you think about this business with Hag and Zul? I'd say you and Sir Radzik are very fortunate to have Kuno on the job. He's a master at handling such matters. Is he? Why is that? Dealing with bastards like Hag and Zul demands both courage and sharp wit. Not a commonplace combination, but Kuno has both in abundance. Alright, so that's enough side you know, activities. So let's see what we can do in the main line. I see everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, someone up there, or someone down there. Shit, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him, beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. 
Well, that sounds like a good plan. But why me? For one thing, you're reliable. And for another, you're not likely to wring his neck on sight. Which can't be said for the rest of us. And where is he hiding? He isn't a little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. Be in on the meadow, or something like that. Be in in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see, to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to spring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure. Jakey won't be there forever. And someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going then. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. Alright, so this is straightforward enough, at least so far. So let's see if we can't find a little bugger. At first I was inclined to think, you know, ah, he's not a traitor, blah blah blah, but now it looks kind of like he is. Come on, villager, move, I gotta find Jakey. Not Jakey. Not Jakey. Not Jakey. Not Jakey. I guess I'll ask this chick if she's seen him. Hold still, alehouse mate, I need to talk to you. I'm looking for Jakey. He's not here. But he was here, though, wasn't he? He was. But? But now he's not. I don't want to be nasty, but you're starting to try my patience. The innkeeper strictly forbids talking about guests and their affairs. You wouldn't be the first to come here looking for someone with no good intentions. Look here, I understand you have your rules. But in times of crisis, rules sometimes have to be broken. I know a thing or two about that myself. But I can't see any need for it. Did you see the boy? Sure I did. Everyone here saw him. He was kind of hard to overlook. And what did you make of him? Well, he was just some young fool who got his hands on a lot of coins somehow. Exactly. And young fools with lots of coin are bound to end up in a lot of trouble. Which is why I have to find him. So you're not out to hurt him? He was a cheeky young pup, but sweet enough. I wouldn't like it if something happened to him on account of me. Neither would I. All right then. Jakey went off yesterday evening with some girl. Maria, I think her name was. The daughter of a merchant who stopped off here on his travels. I see. Any idea where they went? I heard they went across the fields to the south and disappeared in the pine woods there. Her father went off that way later, looking for them. He hasn't been seen since, though. Who knows where they all got to? All right. Thanks. Okay, so they went south, which is that way, and I can see a marker. All right. Let's see if we can't find him. Oh, there he is. Convenient. Henry? This is the opposite of a chase scene. Please, Henry. I'm glad you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time, but that one is a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin, instead of trying to smash my skull right away, and then to leave me like this. <laughs> I say that's the pot calling the kettle black. Listen, Henry, that thing with Hagen, I didn't want to, really, but they kept threatening me, and then they offered me coin, Jesus, Henry, I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zul? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Hmm. I don't know if I'd go as far as mates. 
but let's just say I understand. I knew you and me would understand each other. So you'll let me go if I tell you. Let you go? That rock must have really scrambled your brains. Henry, I, I'm really sorry. I swear. Those fellas scared the wits out of me. I can believe that. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. Please, let me go. First, tell me where Hagen is, and then we'll see. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'll be left here for the crows. Hmm. Well, considering I have 19 plus 1 speech and he has 8, I think I can convince him. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jakey. Kuno's no less of a bastard than that Hagen. They're all birds of a feather. Yeah, right? But why ride with them then? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radziv wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know. If you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will suffer. Oh, uh, I suppose you're right. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think? He's gonna go there in person, along with what's left of his band. So, are you gonna untie me now? Hmm, I could leave him here, I could let him go, or I could take him to jail, like a good Henry would. And since we all know I'm a good Henry... I'll untie you, alright? And take you where you belong. What? What are you saying? Where? To jail. But you can't. We had an agreement. We didn't agree on anything. My conscience is clear. Alright, well that's wrapped up nicely with a bow. Uh, we've got Jakey in jail and we're ready to move on and go tell Kuno the master plan. So we'll do that in the next episode. Stop. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day.